Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Driven Trucking. This is a vlog of a flatbed owner operator. And on this channel, we talk about securement. We talk about all things trucking. We talk about general tips and tricks out here on the road to keep you driven. And if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Ring that notification bell so you know when my next video is coming out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, hey, give it a thumbs down or leave a comment down below and let me know what I can do to improve the video or the channel or anything that's going on. Um, so this, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This is gonna be the only time that I ever respond to someone in the comments. And I should have known that it was coming. <laughs> I actually, in, the, in those videos, in those Mercer transportation videos that I posted originally, I had my settlement, I actually had it in the video. I edited it out because, I, honestly, I didn't feel like I needed to put it out there. Just didn't really, didn't feel like that was, that was needed. And now I have a gentleman in the comments and, you know, he's saying some things. He's, he's voicing his opinion, which, hey, in the great state of the, or the great country of America, we can do that. And that's great. You know, I'm glad that he, that he voiced his opinion. And, but at the same time, him doing so, you know, I do apologize to everyone. Most Mercer drivers are not this way. Um, you know, this is, well, this is one of the rare few people that, that are actually over here. Uh, don't judge, you know, Mercer Transportation by his comments down below. Uh, honestly, I hope he takes him down. I'm not going to take him down. Um, but at the same time, the majority of the drivers are here to help. They're not here to bash on you. They're here, you know, to help you out, to teach you, to guide you in this very difficult industry and help you become successful. And that's all that I'm here to do. You know, I, I, did, I did give you guys my recruiter's name. Um, feel free to not even put my name in there. You know, I, I don't care. What I care about is you coming to a company that is a solid company that treats its employees well and takes care of them. And you don't really hear the nightmare stories. I mean, every company's gonna have, you know, those stories. But there are, they're few and far between over here at Mercer. And that was the point of those videos. It wasn't recruitment, it was nothing like that. I, it was just a peek back behind the curtains from an actual Mercer driver. And there's also another Mercer driver who does a vlog. His name's Super Trucker Dan. You should absolutely check out his videos. He's a solid driver. He, did, he does fantastic videos. They're very well edited. I love his content, love watching. I learn you know, from Dan and his videos. And I highly recommend that you go check out his channel. So back to the reason why I'm doing this video, I wanted to, like I said, I'm not gonna respond in the future to you know, any kind of negative comments in, in, in the comments. I just don't really care. You know, I know what I'm doing out here and that's fine. Uh, but this one might affect someone that is considering coming over to Mercer and, and that makes me feel the need to respond and so that's why I'm putting this out there. Um, a couple things here. I mean, yeah, these are my these are my notes for <laughs> the video. Um, the Lone Mountain Trucking thing. Uh, typically, yes, they are for credit challenged people, or someone that doesn't have a large enough down payment to put on, you know, a newer truck they will help you get into a truck. Now, here's, here's what I would say to that, is you need to make sure you have enough money, which is a considerable amount of money, to bring that truck up to road, what I consider road ready. So all the maintenance needs to be brought up to date. Just assume that it wasn't done, because you're, unfortunately you're not gonna get the maintenance records. 
Uh, I bought this truck last October and I bought a house last July. If you know anything about credit, you know that buying a house tanks your credit score for six plus months. And I'm no different, you know, uh, but <laughs> don't worry about my credit situation. I'm, I'm solid. Anyway, um, but the pay, you know, the pay is absolutely true. Um, you know, I am at the end of talking about the pay. I will post that settlement. Now I'm going to have to go in and cross some things off, but one thing that I will show you and I will get out the truck and we'll look at my number, uh, up closely. My truck number is one eight one nine five and I will shoot that at the end of the video and show you that, you know, that's my truck. And obviously that's my truck statement, uh, my settlement statement. But I just want you guys to know that, you know, if, if anything was unclear in that video, you know, like wh whether I said that you can average $7,000 a week, which I don't, I mean, maybe I said that, honestly, I don't know. I don't care enough to go back and watch the video again. Um, but you know, I mean, $7,000 a week, I'm, I'm almost certain I didn't say that. Maybe I did, but I don't think I did. Uh, what I said was I try to make a thousand dollars a day. And, I, and that doesn't include Sundays. I don't run on Sundays. So I try to average six grand a week. I'm pretty sure I also said that you're not going to average that every week. Uh, however, it balances itself out because there are weeks where you can make seven grand or you can make 8,200, which is what I made in my record week. Uh, that week wore me out, though. Don't recommend it, to be honest. The money's not even worth it running that hard. You know, six grand a week is great. Uh, can everyone do that? No. Uh, does everyone do that here? No. The majority of Mercer drivers that are here are drivers that are towards the end of their career. They have paid off homes. They have paid off vehicles. They have paid off trucks. They have paid off trailers. You know, they go out and they work a few weeks because they want to go take a vacation. You know, they're not out here busting out 3,000 miles plus a week. You know, they're taking life easy, man, enjoying life, enjoying trucking. Just if you slow down and just enjoy this job, it's such a beautiful and wonderful and rewarding job. America would stop without truck drivers. And that says a lot. So be proud of being a truck driver. You know, if you're, if you're a truck driver, if you want to become a truck driver, be proud of that. You know, you, you are somebody. You are a you are a cowboy. You are one of the last cowboys alive and you keep America running. And just remember that. And if you see haters or, you know, people make fun of you or whatever, then you know what? <laughs> Don't even sweat it because what you do out here is so important that it just doesn't even matter. So can you make $1,000 a day? Yes, you can, but you got to work for it. It's not easy, you know? I work my butt off out here. I work my butt off. And I think, oh, nope, still recording. I'll just edit that out. <laughs> or maybe I'll leave it in. No, yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to cut this video. The only time I'm going to cut it is whenever I go to my settlement. Um, my battery's dying, though, so I need to make it quicker. But anyway, thousand dollars a day. I try to average six grand a week and I try to work, you know, I try to work, I try to make about 20 grand a month. Do I No. you know, I've got my daughter, she's being born this year and that's going to be early November. So I'm, I'm going to take two weeks off for that. So excited about that. And you know, uh, I'm going to run the, I will run the UPS account. There are a lot of UPS accounts. Is everybody going to get one? No, I said that in the video. But there are a you know there are a good amount. There are also great rates for flatbed. But if you know the industry and you know how flatbed rates work, you know that it dips a little bit in September and it starts to dip even more in October. And then as those UPS and FedEx accounts start, which some start considerably earlier than the middle of November, not a bunch, but some do. The, freight, the flat rates start to pick back up and they will actually spike 
right before, you know, the holidays, right before Thanksgiving, you know, so you've got some time where you can make some pretty, pretty darn good money while all of us guys are over there, you know, just, I guess, living it up and doing UPS or whatever we do over there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, hey, you can make some, you can make some great money. You know, you don't have to go run UPS. I just run it because I know the miles, zero deadhead, light loads, great, uh, you know, great uh, fuel mileage. It's night driving, so it's all steady miles. It's easy miles. It's solid. It's all set up for you. Uh, do I need to keep going? <laughs> anyway, so I'll do that UPS run, and then I'll go home, and I'll be home, you know, a few days before Christmas, maybe even a couple days before Christmas, I don't know, but, and then I'll take the rest of the year off. So I'm sitting at 170 right now, you know, let's say through, uh, let's say through October that, let's just say I make 20 grand and, you know, let's say I get one of the, let's say I get one of the smaller UPS packages, which would be, I don't know if I can expose this. Let's just say it's going to range anywhere between sixteen and twenty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, take those with a grain of salt. So um, let's just say let's let's just say fifteen. Let's just say I'm, I make fifteen. That's another thirty-five thousand. If I'm sitting at one hundred and seventy right now, that's two hundred five. First year. First quarter, I ran. Man, I went to. Good Lord, man. I went to Arizona. I went to Seattle, Reno. Uh, I think I even dropped. Did I drop a load in New Mexico? I don't think I avoided New Mexico, but I was all over the place, man. I was chasing freight, you know, and just uh, first quarter was terrible. And I'm still making 205. You know what? Let's go ahead and cut to the settlements because this is already stretching out. It's over 12 minutes long. I wanted to keep it shorter, but... Um, so I'm going to show you the settlements. I'm going to block out whatever I need to. And it might be there's it might be a few pictures, you know, to kind of show the majority of what you need to see as the proof. Um, it's just an email that I get. So I'm just going to screenshot it and post it. So here you go. So like I said, guys, I, I covered everything. You know, I wanted to talk about the, the Lone Mountain thing. I wanted to talk about the pay. And I wanted to talk about, you know, other people looking at Mercer. Like I said, that was why I made this video because other people are going to see that. They're going to see that comment and they're going to think, wow, that's what a Mercer driver thinks of his own company, uh, of one of his own drivers. And, you know, you just saw the settlements. So, you know, there's the proof right there whatever, you know, I mean, it's, maybe it is, maybe it's hard to believe, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I'm just living it, man. I'm just living it. I'm just doing it. So maybe, I don't know, man, maybe, I, maybe I should take some guys under my wing. I mean, I, 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 I don't say that with any kind of ego. I mean, I legitimately don't know. Legitimately. I mean, if, if, if I'm doing something that's that crazy, which I don't feel like it is, I just feel like it's just average, then, man, let me know. Let me know in the comments below, you know, um, if I am doing something that's, I don't know, seems unbelievable or seems, you know, full of, <laughs> let me know. You know, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. You just saw my settlement, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I hate to have to do this, guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, I should have just stuck the stupid settlement in the other videos. Should have left it there. It was, I edited it out. and Oh, well. Life goes on, right? Almost forgot to post my truck number. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's the proof in the pudding. You can make over 200,000 at Mercer in your first year. Um, don't feel like it's even phenomenal. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't really know. 
I'm just doing me. So until then, guys, stay driven.